story time. I guess it kind of is a story time video, but the energies kind of got to me today. Like I want to rub my eyes all the time and my skin is just weird today. So a makeup video just wouldn't have worked out. So this is what you get. <laughs> but I actually wanted to do this video for a while. So keep watching if you want to hear the story of how my hair is ruined. So, uh... I didn't know we were in the information society. So let's start all the way at the beginning, which is way back in December of 2017. I know that's a long time ago, but that's where the story starts. <laughs> so at the time, my hair had never been colored. I'd never done anything to it other than, you know, different hairstyles. But at this point, I had like hair down here and I was just kind of bored with it. So I went to a hairdresser to get my hair cut short because I was like, you know what, that might be fun. I've done it before and cutting your hair is always fun. So I did that. You know, the haircut went fine. I really liked it. I'm gonna try, try to find a picture and put it in here. So at the end of the appointment, after I'd paid, they were like, do you want your receipt and your name in this bag where we're going to like draw out a winner that's going to win a makeover? And I was like, sure, that's fine. I mean, it could never hurt to try that. Then like a month went by and I didn't follow them on their Facebook page where they were going to like draw out the winner. But then the hairdresser called me and was like, um, have you seen you won the makeover? And I was just like, no, I, I didn't see that. So I was just like, what am I gonna do? Because I had just like cut that much hair off. What more can I do to my hair? Like I felt like I owed them like a makeover so that they could like post it on their Facebook. I know that's dumb, but I just felt like that was the deal or something like that. You know, it was called a makeover, so it was not just like regular cut, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I ended up thinking, you know what? I might just try coloring my hair or the thing that I wanted was like balayage. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but you know that like nice fade where it's like darker here at the roots and then for the ends it's lighter and you know when it's done right that is pretty so yeah i scheduled an appointment with them in the end of january just before prom so what i was going to have done was balayage and then for prom they were gonna like do my hair and you know at the appointment obviously they used bleach and such not a lot i can't remember the terms but it was like low levels of bleach because you know i didn't want my hair to be like White. I remember sitting there with those like tinfoil wraps on and all the hairdressers had like a meeting because I was the only customer there. <laughs> so I was just sitting there by myself. The hairdresser was in a meeting and I was just like, how long is this going to be on my hair? Because it felt like a lot. <laughs> but then eventually she came and she like opened the tinfoil and looked at it and it was like, oh no, it's going to be there a little bit longer. But you know, then the tinfoil came off after like 45 minutes, I think, and she rinsed it out and toned it and such. I was like so afraid of it being streaky or like just stripes, you know, those early 2000 stripes. I was super worried it was going to be that, but it looked really good and I was like, thank you so much. Like, I love it. But you know what? I hadn't considered that the lighting in the hairdresser salon is, is it called salon in English? I don't know. But it's like very cool light and like it spotlights. So when I came home in natural lighting, first of all, like the sun was out, um, but also like normal indoor lighting, which is more warm. Let me just show you what it looked like right after it was done. That's stripey as fuck, like, that was ex exactly what I had feared and, you know, it only got worse as the toner, like, faded. And again, this was right before prom, so I loved that. <sighs> and, like, when I washed my hair, it just felt damaged, like, it didn't feel smooth as it did before, it was just, like, it didn't feel good. <laughs> It felt fragile and also kind of like, hey, I don't know how that works, but it did. And then prom came in the beginning of February. So when I was down there to get my hair done, I told the hairdresser like, 
it's um it's yeah, it's not good i i'm not happy about this like can i can you fix it and she was like yeah i can do that but she was doing someone else's hair for prom so we didn't really like set an appointment there i ended up not setting up a second appointment with her to fix it because i thought well she's probably just going to bleach it more and then my hair is going to be more damaged so i thought well can't be any worse now of course if i decided to bleach it on my own but i'm not not that stupid not that people that bleach their own hair are stupid it's just i would have ruined it like 100 percent so i went to the drugstore and bought two boxes of box dye i mean it didn't turn out super even but it still wasn't as bad as it looked before <laughs> so i think that says quite a lot about the things she did to my hair i i'm gonna try to find a picture of after i dyed it the first time like here but you know that didn't look bad and it was just like a little bit dark but as i said it was like a little bit uneven so i actually used that second box of box dye um like a week later just to like even it out and it kind of helped but again it <laughs> it didn't look worse than it did before so i was happy about it but you know that fades quite quickly it's hard to like color your hair darker on your own because it's just going to like fade out especially when you have dark hair like i do like it doesn't last very long so actually on the last day of high school for me i colored it again I, I skipped the last class ever to color my hair i don't recommend doing that but honestly it's not had like any serious consequences so but i'm not encouraging that what am i saying so the last time i colored my hair was like on the last day of high school which is almost a year ago now this is the beginning of may 2019 this was in the end of may 2018 so I haven't colored my hair in almost a year now and thankfully my hair grows pretty fast and after that I did a lot of oil treatments like I used some coconut oil and just like massaged my scalp and put it in the ends of my hair because they were like not good <laughs> so in this lighting which is very cool you can't really see any of the bleaching but it's still there I'm gonna put in some pictures from natural lighting here just so you can see that like the bleach is obviously still there that's not going anywhere so yeah in natural lighting you can still see that this part of my hair is very warm toned whereas this is more like a neutral shade i think which obviously is not gonna go away until i cut that part off so the point of this video isn't just to get views i don't even know if it's going to get views like how exciting is this i don't know but just when my hair was ruined i you know i looked up a lot of youtube videos from people that had had their hair ruined and like the progress they went through so if you just got a bad haircut or someone bleached the fuck out of your hair and now it's ruined just be patient i knew it would take a lot of time and patience to get through this obviously it was not that hard let's be honest but you know it kind of sucked to have that happen just before prom and just before our graduation and such so just like massage your hair and do oil treatments and just try not to use too much heat i never straighten my hair or do anything to it i do sometimes blow dry it like maybe once or twice a month but other than that i really try my best to not damage it anymore because it can't take it and i still put oil in my ends um after every wash as well because otherwise it just gets a little bit like poofy and weird that was a lot thank you for listening if you did or if you just had the video running in the background i don't blame you for that i use videos on youtube for that all the time but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if not i'm sorry i am um, hope to see you in my next video which will be up on saturday so bye that's a difficult question because i didn't know we were in the information society